Come home to Ascension Living. Have you ever thought about throwing a party or a shower, but the thought of planning and preparing for it just stops you in your tracks? Well, thanks to our next guest, all you have to do is have the wish and she can make it come true. Dee Johnson has Tasteful Gatherings, a boutique event planner, and she joins us this morning. Good to see you. Good morning, it's good to see you. You know, there was a time in my life where I loved to throw a party. I thought it was so much fun. And I think like an awful lot of other people, Life's gotten busy, it and is, I don't yes. do it anymore, but I miss it. Yes. Do you hear that a lot from people? We do, we do, and we can come in and we can make it so easy for you. You can actually take a bath that day <laughs> and let us just come in and do it all for you. Okay, so it sounds like, I think the word boutique mm -hmm. is probably one to emphasize. Yes, because we can customize the party for you. We can uh, do your tabletops, we can provide your bartending, your food, we'll bring servers in and we'll just take care of the whole thing for you. So what does your process look like? Let's say it's, um, let's say it's a bridal shower that you're wanting to throw for somebody. Sure. So we have a website. You just go out on our website, fill out the contact form, and that tells us what we need to know to provide a proposal for you. We'll work with you, we'll develop the menu, we'll find out exactly what your vision is. Mm -hmm. And that's my passion. I love to see your vision come mm -hmm. to fruition. So like on the menu side of it, uh, mm -hmm. I get kind of, I'm a sentimental person. Sure. So let's say it was a bridal shower and there was like the groom's favorite recipe of his grandmother's and your daughter had her favorite thing. We could provide that to you and you, you could, could make it. You could, absolutely, you could. Um, we do have standardized menus, mm -hmm. but we also custom make menus as well. So yes, you could provide that recipe for us. Mm -hmm. We would take that and we would um, work with it because we would have to most likely create that in volume. Because at home, you're only cooking for maybe 10 to 15 right. and you, your shower may be more like 30, 30, mm -hmm. 30 to 50. Right. So we would have to work with that and, and we know how to do that. So, you know, there are only so many weekends in the year. I would imagine that you get booked out pretty quickly. We do. And we're always working in the future. Mm -hmm. So um, our calendar for uh, September, October is pretty booked, mm -hmm. but we do have openings November, December and on. Which would be, and do, will you do it during the work week as well? Of course we okay. will. <laughs> yes. Because it seems like, like midweek events have become really popular they really with people, have especially yeah. at the holiday time they have absolutely they have um, especially corporate mm -hmm. that a lot of times they like to have their theirs in the evenings mm -hmm. through the week so that works well for I us I haven't thought about that if you're a small business owner say and you want to do mm -hmm. a Christmas party for your staff but you don't need a huge space yes you could come into them and help them with something we great. could and we do that quite often yes. is there a trend happening D in the look that people are wanting are they wanting more relaxed and less formal? Well, we see both. Okay. We do. Um, there are some companies that do like that relaxed, just they get, want to get away from the office mm -hmm. and wear their favorite Christmas sweaters and things like that. But then we also see the more formal and, and we're up for both situations. I liked how you mentioned to me you see a lot of birthdays as well. Mm -hmm. So like milestone birthdays yes, that yes, you would do. Yes. Do you come into people's homes and sometimes use what they have? We do. Uh, just recently, uh, not a birthday, but we did a, a shower for a family that, uh, and they had 75 in their home and wow. they had a beautiful home with a lot of great outdoor space. And we were indoor, outdoor doing past appetizers along with some grazing stations and, and a uh, drink station and things like that and we had bartenders there so yes absolutely yeah I do think that's important to point out because you have the staffing to go right along with it mm -hmm. so if you want to have a chance to if you are hosting it at your own home but you want to enjoy yes. your guests you're not the one serving everybody that's right that's right. On yes. the bartending side of it, you provide the bartenders, not the alcohol. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. We'll just t come in and we'll manage your alcohol for you. How did you get started doing this? Well, um, I started out in a country club. Um, I'd always been in the corporate world and thought that's where I would always be. And my company closed. And so I had to reinvent myself. And I ended up in a country club as an event planner and uh, fell in love with the industry. I, I just really did, and I uh, was there for a couple of years, and I thought, you know, 
I would really like to do this myself. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I branched out on my own, started out in a little basement and just grew from there, um, was there for two years. And then I worked in a college for six years running their food services and uh, ran my catering out of there. And now we're in our own building. Isn't it funny how people will sometimes fixate on the wrong thing when they're throwing yes. a party? First of all, if the food's not good, your party's a bust. That's right. <laughs> that is correct. But it is the attention to the detail that people will remember. They won't know if the furniture was right in your room, but yes. the little tiny table setting details yes. they'll take away. They will. They will. And the taste of the food and the the feel of the atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know, the love and the care that's put into it. Do you have a dish that you're particularly known for? Well, we love uh, to provide the briskets and mm. the, the uh, prime rib and things like that. People really love those things, but our appetizers are really good too. We have a great shrimp and grits shooters. When we bring oh. those things out, people just devour those. I they, bet they, they really do. do. But we also do breakfast. You know, we do. Oh, like if you want to do a brunch or yes, something. Yes, absolutely. Yes. That's, yeah, that's a whole new side of things, the mm -hmm. post-wedding yeah. brunch the next day. Correct, yeah. So should they book you online or call you? Um, both. Okay. Both. Yeah. Yeah. Either way works. Um, online gives us a lot more information. We can get started a little quicker, mm -hmm. um, but a phone call is good too. All right. Well, here is where you can get in touch with her for whatever your event may be. Doesn't matter the size, as long as you want it personalized and made yes. to feel just like you, she's the one to call. 716-2343 online at tastefulgatherings.com. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Come be a part of our family tree at Martin Boyd Christian Home, a nonprofit assisted living community. A family makes a house a home, and we value your family like our own. With all inclusive rates and an experienced care team, you'll feel right at home. Call today to schedule.